base head. Look, check it out. The icicles hanging off in front of Saturn. It's not no snow or nothing out here. The sun's out. It's nice day. It's just a little chilly. But I'm going to get out here or maybe I'll do it in the shop if I turn the heater on or whatever. But I got those uh, Molex plugs in. Thanks, Craig. Appreciate that, dude. We're going to check it out. We're going to take the cover off that Matt's amp that six channel we're gonna check it out so stay tuned the bass junkie 2020 twin. I gotta do some running I'll be right back This is where uh, cousin lives out here in the country. Freaking, see all these ridges and it's just surrounded by mountains. But it's the difference, like coming from Florida where it's all flat to living up here driving on hills it took me a few years to get used to it all but I'm used to it now looks beautiful out here during the spring wait till spring hits you guys will see 2,000 years later all right guys as promised Matt's amp the parts came in we're fixing to open it up those are gonna be the, the set screw I'm missing the remote set screw and the Molex plugs. This is a used amp. Um, you see where the screws go there. I went ahead and went through the trouble before starting the video and went ahead and took them out. That's what takes the top cover plate off so we can look inside the guts. So we'll see what it looks like. Do that in a minute. In the meantime, thanks to Craig. Appreciate you, man. That's Good looking out. I was able to buy these from him. He ordered them. He, he went ahead and paid the ship, shipping the shipping to me and everything. Good looking out. He's one of our subscribers, and we really appreciate you, Craig. Thank you. So, let's see what we got here. Oh, we got three set screws. I only ordered one. He got me three. That's what's up. There's our Molex plugs. Oops, sorry, I got the camera there. It's three screws. Yep, go right in there. We'll have them all in there then. Hell yeah. We'll worry about that when we go out to test it. Set them off to the side real quick. And I'll show you what these do. Try to do this with one hand here. 
Get my knee to prop her up. All right. Now what you do is see these. Let focus in on it. You see right there, it's a flathead screwdriver, a little, one of the little tiny ones. And then you would open them up like you would do the set screws on here. And then you'd slide your, see the little pins in there? It's It moves up so you can slide your probably 12 gauge speaker wire in there. So you can uh, run your mids and highs. This is a six channel. And uh, then after you get them in there, say this amp's in the hard to reach place, if, especially if it's way in your trunk or somewhere that would be hard to sit there and, you know, do each set screw leaning in and your back be killing you. That's what's good about these because then once you have your wires in there, which when I hook it up, I will show you guys that, but at this point we're going to just pretend. When you have the wires hooked up in there, then you can just reach in and push it on and boom, you're good to go. You know what I mean? All the way down. So, that's a nice feature there. All right. Now, let's get the good stuff. Looks like it'll take four gauge for the power and ground. The remote looks about eight gauge it could go up to. But you damn sure don't need that much. You can just run a piece 12 gauge to it. It's just a remote. Got a fan, which is cool. And we'll keep it cool. <laughs> Here you got your gain. Then you got your EQ. And then your frequency. You want to run it on your mids. You know, you do 150, 125. Highs higher than that, you know, 250, whatever. This goes all the way up to 360, down to 60 hertz. So your subs maybe 60 or some mid-range, whatever. However, you're trying to set your system up. One channels one and two, three and four, and then channels five and six is your sub. Um, I think it's a thousand RMS at one ohm and five hundred at two ohm. There's your power and protect made in the USA because it's made down in Jupiter, Florida, down by West Palm Beach, close to Stewart where I used to live. It's a Hi Fi 6150D. All right, now you guys see that's pretty much the basics of this amp. Um, you can run all six channels on mid, all mids or all t highs tweeters whatever or you can run this amp for your entire setup if you had like a pickup truck and you just want you didn't want nothing crazy then you can just have your door speakers and rear speakers for channels one to four and then five and six you could have two 500 rms subs um two four ohms wire them at one parallel and you get a thousand that would split between them and you'd have 500 rms for each one so it's pretty good little setup so you could have a little boom and have your whole system in one amp that's why these things cost so much guys now let's get to the good stuff like i promised boom looks good in there it's got the three different boards here that run straight up instead of laying like just being all this stuff onto the regular main board which i like looks really cool i like how they got it. it's like like being in the lane to the competition you know what i mean 150 db he's doing 160s and then you got chris lee down here and then he's doing 170s <laughs> anyway we got that you know so there's like channels one and two three and four and five and six you know there's your big transformer your big caps these are 80 volt caps on here for your big caps and uh, let's see the uh 55 56 100 microfarads see it back down in there all right we got your small caps they're 16 volt caps got a slew of them for the filtering and all that that's uh six volts 16 volts 5600 microfarad same as the big Here's all your filtration uh, system. There's your fan. Remember, guys, I bought this used. And I bought the parts for it, you know. Made it back the way it's supposed to be. I'm going to show you right now what this guy had gave me in place of these Molex plugs. Which you've seen how cool they are. How they come off and, you know what I mean. 
and they pull out and then you know you can put your wires in them and then just slide them in which i think is a really good feature i wish all ants had that option to tell you the truth it's because it sucks your back starts hurting when you're bending over you know trying to put them in but anyway check this out this is what this guy gave me now he got these out of like computers like inside inside of a computer or something like he pulled them out and stuff or whatever probably tower computers and stuff and they work i guess but it, i'm not going to use it like look at this thing see it'll go right in there it's a molex plug it's it is a plug that's why it worked because it's a molex plug but it's got two wires coming out each pin you know what i mean and it's only supposed to be one plus you want your own wires anyway you don't want it like that so the way they were doing it they were tying into these wires he said that he left those on the boat that he got it from i don't know whether i believe that or not I don't really care I just knew that this amp was a good investment. Um, I knew if I could get these and if I could get the set screw, which I didn't know at the time when I got it from him that it was gone. That, but I knew that this amp would be worth it because this is an all-in-one amp, you know what I mean? So, But I definitely wasn't using those, that's for sure. So I checked the board over. I'll put a close-up on it. It looks to be, I mean, there's dust in some of the corners and stuff, but that's to be expected from any used amp. I don't care if you got an amp brand new, if you have it in your trunk and you run it for a while, you're going to get, especially if it's got a fan built into it, it's going to pull dust into it, you know what I mean? It, through there or a bus is going to come through it, you know? So, because you got to think the fan's blowing in on it, so it's sucking air from the outside. So, it's actually in pretty good shape. I see the thermal paste on the MOSFETs. They all look good. I've checked them all. So I think we're in good order. We're going to go out and test it. So we're going to hook it up. We're going to take the Rockville out for now and just put this in and run this for about a week. But I'm going to test it with you guys and make sure everything works. I took the guy's word on it and you know what that could mean. But from what my eyes see and what you guys see, unless you guys see something that I don't, let me know in the comments. We'll go over it with a fine tooth real quick. See there. Look at all the circuits, all the blocks. See if we see anything. I'll go from the other side too. Wait, see those circuits. Oops, sorry about my finger there. Each board, MOSFETs, everything, I'm, what I'm seeing, dudes, I don't know, dude, it looks so good, it looks like a really good amp, it just looks like it was missing the remote screw, set screw, and the Molex plugs, I mean, other than them screwing it down and bending this and which I could put a little black paint on them and bend them back. They did it over here real bad. Other than that, I think this is a good deal. I'm going to post up here right now what uh, the specs of this amplifier is. And we can go over them real quick. Alright guys, we're going to go over the specs of this amp here. The Hi-Fi 6150 from $1,149. So this thing ain't cheap. This six-channel Class D amplifier. And that's only because this company's been around forever, guys. And if you guys keep watching, you'll understand what I'm saying. It says this six-channel full-range Class D amplifier can run your entire system with realism, precision, and efficiency that will astound you. Six times 150 RMS at 4 ohm. Class D full range. We gotta read that part. Six times 275 at two ohms. And then for your sub, four times 150 watts RMS at four ohm for your mids. And then plus 1000 watts RMS for at one ohm for your sub or subs. Or you can do four times 275 watt RMS at two ohms. And then 550 watts rms at two ohms which that'd be 225 per sub so you remember that it says the ultimate hi-fi 
six channel full range class D amplifier. When you're in need big power and great sound utilizing Burr Brown op amps and direct technology for a truly remarkable sonic signature. Our high five series multi-channel full range class D amplifier is flagship of the American made amplifiers because they are they're see they're made in a uh, manufactured in Jupiter, Florida down here. So it says ultra efficient small chassis direct vet MOSFETs and Burr Brown preamp makes this the most powerful technology advanced multi-channel amplifier on the market today. 50,000 microfarad capacitors on the battery inputs and 2,500 microfarad capacitors on the output section keeps the mids and highs totally clear even when the base is pounding. It's got a full three-year factory warranty. So, hell yeah, guys. This is definitely a decent amp. We're going to check it out here in a minute. So, let me put the cover back on this thing. Before I go out there, here's a link to uh, Matt's homepage um check it out they do motorcycle everything for boats motorcycle cars trucks suvs you name it they got it all and uh they've been around since i think 93 here's the juggernaut one of the subs that made them famous here's specs on that if you want to pause it and check it out go ahead um here's some of the other amplifiers that they sell um they have mids, highs, tweeters, you know, uh, everything that you can think of, they got. It's, so, it's a good company. I recommend them. I'll leave a link in the description. All right, guys, we're going out here. We need to bend these feet back, I guess. It's sunny out this evening, so. But it's still cold. <sighs> Been out here in the shed for a while. The workshop. Grab the amplifier. Ooh. Turn this radar down some. Hold on. Oh, I gotta get to this stuff, guys. This weather has sucked and uh, it's put me so behind. But I will be recalling the two XFL 15s. These got the red spiders. I think I can get the ones with the red spiders. Get a good deal on them. If you guys still got them, and I want to recon the tens too. And uh, we're still going to do what I said about the 15s. You guys get me up there, get me at least a 3K, and I'll do a giveaway. I'm going to get those things reconed. Um, here's the 18 ZV3. I got to get it reconed. And it needs a rubber gasket too, so I ordered that. It's, it's like, you know, pretty decent shape. Just needs new soft parts it's got tons of other stuff in here like i've showed you guys a million times you know it's just my a little catch-all right now i got some figure wire we'll be using when we hook up the six channel because i'm going to do it like extend it because i had the wire short in there so kind of want to go over that still got a whole box kill mat here you know what i mean so there's the old cones from the x sundown x's you know, fat them damn surrounds are on them things. That's what's in my car right now. That's why I be getting so much flicks. These damn things do it. Especially since I recode it. That old oscilloscope there. You know. I gotta go through all this stuff soon because. Dudes. We're gonna be. We're gonna be moving. Within this year. Probably by spring. I'm not for sure. So. I'm going to move to a place by myself. My dad's going to move back down to Florida. I'm not sure if I'll stay up here or if I'll go back to Florida. I haven't made my mind up on that, but I love where I work. And if I can find a decent place around here, that's what I'll do. So those are one of the things I was going to tell you guys about, but I got something else too. And uh, we'll get to that. So <laughs> just stay with me, dudes. But yeah, I definitely want to get the 18 reconed and those other american base xfls want to get this stuff out of here including this 18 box just need an eight inch arrow port on it anyway let's take this amp out let's get back to this subject at hand let's take it out to the car go out here and pop the trunk take a dunk all right let me set this on top of the car 
careful the glass there, buddy. Pop the old trunk real quick. All right. Oh, that trunk looks so heavy since I foamed it. Maybe to stay up, I got my little brace. So, hold on a second. What I want to do is take that Rockville out right there and put this in its place. So, that's how it's going to go. And that's just for the meantime, because I'm going to keep the Rockville. Because what I got planned, dudes, is for this trunk lid here. I'll probably use the Rockville for that. It's because it's an 8 channel. And I'm going to put a stunt wall. It's got a deep concave. I can build the whole enclosure right there on the lid. It's already heavy, so I might have to get some kind of bracing to where this thing stays up when I'm at the shows. But I want to get like 8-inch mid-range, then 6.5s, and then tweeters. Because I can put 8 of them with that amp. So that's what that's going to be. This is going to be for the front stage up there where the base is and everything else. For door speakers and behind the seat. And uh, on the A-pillars, I want to get some tweeters on them too. And door pods. So this is six channel, and that's what I'm going to use it as. I'm not going to use it for four channels and uh, a base amp. So that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to be running six mids and highs off this for the front stage. Might invest in another one of these. See how I like it. I'm going to be doing the testing. I'm going to start in today. So anyway, I appreciate all y'all subscribing to Base Junkie 2020. And, uh... Thank you for uh, hitting the like button and leaving comments, as always. We're going to be moving this amp over, too, guys. I still haven't done that. This ain't had time to do anything because of the weather, but it's starting to get better. So we're going to get back at this. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to get a bigger lithium battery bank. Um, probably end up getting rid of this Limitless. Get some yin long. If not, if I keep the Limitless, I'll just get a Cyber 12K and throw it this one. I think they're compatible. Um, if not, I'll just get like a big gang long bank, um, at least 90 amp hours. If that doesn't solve the voltage issue, I'll get a bigger alternator because I only got a JS250 right now. Maybe I'll get like, uh, I want to, I don't know if I use JS again. I might get a McMahon 350 or something like that or Brand X or whatever. Stinger, who knows? Whatever catches my eye at the time. <laughs> so. We're going to be doing that, and like I said, with the stunt wall and the door pods. Um, then we'll get outside to the body sooner or later. But this is going to be an epic year. That's why I said keep watching Base Junkie 2020. You, you, I mean, it's telling you guys, not just my car. You guys are going to be seeing so many killer builds, dude. And I learned from my mistakes from last year, so it's going to be way better quality, way better demos, and way better interviews. So... Keep watching, dudes. Hit that like button. That way more people know about this. And it gets out there. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Like I always said, man. I love my my fans. You guys are what makes Base Junkie 2020 happen. And that's why I keep doing it. You guys keep hitting the like button. You guys keep leaving comments. Keep sharing my videos. I'm going to keep making them. And with that being said, stay tuned for the second part of this video. And I'll catch you all in the next one.